So we are here with Aaron Lasley of Beatrice, Nebraska. Um, he is the inventor, as far as we know, of the Lego air powered engine. And it was about January of 94 when you first- I think when I built it, yeah. Yeah, when you yeah. built your first engine. Mm -hmm. So um, in all of my research anyway, uh, that is the earliest documented time of building a Lego air powered engine. And the way I found you was that you still had a website up that was made in 1998. Yeah, when the ability to get on the internet in my little town uh, finally happened. Yeah. And uh, then I learned how to make a website because that was kind of the new up and coming thing. I wanted to document it because my efforts of talking to people about my Lego engine in the local community was kind of met more with a, a view of, oh, isn't that cute? Or something <laughs> like that. And people didn't understand yeah. uh, how cool that was, how monumental and, it was. To, and don't a lot of us know that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, I can get into explaining it here if you Sure, want. let's yeah. talk about it. Yeah. This was the uh, first engine that I had built. Uh, my brother and I, whenever we'd build something, that was really cool out of Lego because we'd refine our stuff. And when it was like the final version of it, we put the little Lego block in there. Lego, yeah, Lego your block. trademark. But anyways, my experience working with small engines, I was thinking in terms of four cycle engines, intake and exhaust. And so when I originally built this engine, I had the idea for it. I'd only had an intake on it because why spend the time to design an exhaust valve if the engine doesn't work anyways? Yep. So I did the intake on it and I positioned it and timed it just right. I was pleased to find that you could time with the Legos, with the pieces, because of course when they build, they're not building for engine timing purposes. They're building for other goals in mind. And I blew into it and the piston went down and started to come up. And of course it couldn't because no exhaust valve, but I knew it was gonna work. So put the exhaust valve on it and um, got it all set up. Blew into it, and I was so ecstatic. <laughs> it <laughs> could be it done is. after all these years. And evidently, you jumped around the house, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I was like pumping, you know, like that. <laughs> and my brother, who was always the one that built, he always built the cool stuff. I never had the brain for it. All different kinds of things, inventions over the years. I remember him just kind of looking. It's like, well, huh, it can be done. <laughs> and so he would, um, he um, would when he would build, he would refine. Mm. his own designs, but this was the only thing I ever remember that I built that he actually saw, oh, it can be done, and then he refined it. Yeah. So yeah. you made the proof of concept. I sure did. And and pretty much proved it for, not only for your brother, but eventually kind of for the world. I think some Evidently, people yeah. probably found your website back then in, in the 90s. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and it has crossed my mind, would it have been possible to build the engine prior to the time I did? Um, Certain styles of engine, yes, mm -hmm. but this particular style, I needed things for the crank throws, and there was, uh, I'd entertain using gears, but the problem was that as the gears would come up, they'd snag on the bottom lip of the cylinder, mm -hmm. and I think it probably still could have been um, accomplished, but you gotta have the drive and desire to do it. You're not building anything that's a kit that you buy from Lego with a build sheet, yeah. and certainly I had no advantage of looking at internet and seeing that it could be done and using that as inspiration. All I had was, the desire to do it yeah. and prove it could be done. So if you're out there and you're watching this video and you built a Lego engine prior to 1994 or 19, late 1993, then yeah. put it in the comment section and uh, mm -hmm. send us a, a link to a website or, or send pictures or join join our community, our Discord yeah, server. Yeah, the TBLE server. Yeah, yeah. Technic Builds and Lego Engines. Mm -hmm. um, but, I'd love to know. Yeah, I we, think it'd be cool to see just how far back this goes. We would love to know. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone would, would love to see what kind of these first ideas are, even if you independently came up with the idea before internet and before you could just mm -hmm. go out on YouTube and get inspired yeah. by someone else. So you think that I built uh, January of 94, um, and then my site went online about, oh, 99, maybe 98, 99. Around that time, yeah. Maybe 2000, somewhere. I think, I, turn think of the I saw 98 when I found your website. Okay. Yeah. And so that's how you found me is I just, I took some pictures and that was with a Kodak DC-20. That's why the pictures are so small. <laughs> old school. And, yeah, old, old school, school. First generation digital camera. Yeah. But uh, I put them on there and explained 
how they work and people would find it on Google searches back yes. in the day it came up a lot a lot better mm -hmm. a lot easier but um, there was different people that would write me that they were inspired to build their engine based off my design so it's yeah. a thing that's been going on but I had no idea what it had morphed into today today it yeah is, amazing it moved stuff. on yep. to pretty amazing stuff mm -hmm. and of course that's the way I found your website was Google and I called you up and um, eventually I came out to visit you so it's been it's yeah been here awesome. you are yeah, it's been <laughs> yeah. awesome to to be able to meet you in person after uh, all the time that we've spent you know uh, sending pictures and videos because being a Lego engine builder myself I was absolutely intrigued to know a, an origin story so yeah. next let's talk about what your brother did when he refined the design yes yeah, so my brother was always good at his stuff not only was functional but he liked the form yes he would build prototype stuff and then he'd tear it apart and then once he knew it worked and go replace block for block color coded so we see nice little archways here under the exhaust and intake ports little color coded um sl inverted slope blocks and then improvements over my design my valving design he used it the little cams but he uh, made it so that the, the pins that lift the valve uh, are stouter so they don't wobble in the pulleys that they go in. He made it so that the base of the valve is wider instead of just a narrow one, one by two. It's actually a one by four. The porting is bigger, minor one by two, one by four. So this flows better. It has a stronger rod and just did all the improvements on the original design and that it needed to be great. done. Yeah, it and, really it, and it works. Good. We'll go ahead. And it works, yeah. And you can tell it, it's got kick. It's flowing, a lot more air going through it. Yeah. And it'll wind you. It sucks the breath out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're going to link your website. We're going to link your YouTube channel in the description so that people can go head over there and see these engines and see the videos that you've made of them. Hey guys, Engineer here. Hope you enjoyed that video about Aaron Lasley. I got a lot of footage of me interviewing him. So if you're interested in more episodes like this one, then leave comments down below. Also, if you're interested in learning more about LEGO vacuum engines and LEGO air-powered engines in general, then check out the links in the description. Anyways, that's all for now, so I'll see you in the next video.